Okay. We are going to teach you how to get a dog to come to you when you call. This is the first step that I do um, with <coughs> dogs, <coughs> even puppies, I use this one on, okay? What we're going to do is we're going to teach the last step first, which means what, what do you want your dog to, you, to do when you call them to come to you? Well, what I like to teach, which I think everyone should do, is the dog should come and stop and sit. So, <laughs> um, Pinky sort of does this, but I'm using her because she knows it not as well as my dogs. Um, but anyway, that's called back chain, where you do the end of behavior first. So what we want to do is you want to teach the dog once it runs, even if it's at full speed, that it runs and it stops and sits. Some dogs go around, some dogs come way out there, some dogs play games with you. They don't know to stop and sit and wait until you tell them to do something else. So I think this is really, really, really important. So let me show you how we're going to start doing that. What we're going to do first is we're going to teach them to stop and sit by teaching them muscle memory which means that you're going to do a couple exercises where they just learn when they get to you, they should always stop and sit. We want this to be automatic, so I don't want, no matter what your dog does know, I don't want you to say come yet, I don't want you to say come here, I don't want you to say anything, and I don't want you to ask them to sit. Um, even if it's a puppy that doesn't know sit, or another dog that doesn't know sit, usually if you do this and you kind of pull up and you wait, they will sit. Okay? Um, if not, you may want to work on the sit a little outside of this, but usually that works. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you <laughs> while Pinky gets silly with her chicken. Hey, silly pants. Okay. Um, so this is what I want your dog to just be milling about, doing nothing. If the dog is sticking around you, kind of like she is with me, you can throw a piece of food away so they'll come away from you. All I want you to do is wait for your dog to come up to you. Now she's too far. She always wants to sit on the mat. And I really want her, yes, good girl, good girl, good girl. And I want to give several treats, good girl, about 10 or 12, good girl, that's a good girl, that's a good girl, that's a good girl, okay. Okay, and then I'm going to just kind of do nothing. I'm going to let her wander off. They may stick around you. Um, it is harder to, I know with some dogs with uh, hard surfaces, they slip. So you can do this on a rug or on a carpet. Um, and that's not necessarily an excuse, but I do know some dogs, they completely perform differently on a rug. Um, she actually does everything on that mat, but I did a lot of mat work with her. So, um, actually what I'm going to do is get that mat in front of me. Because I know she'll sit better. Now, I want her to, which may work to my disadvantage. Yes. Good girl, good girl, good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl, good girl. Okay. You're going to do this three or four times. And um, just let her come and automatically sit. So, again, I'm not calling her. I'm just waiting. Good girl, good girl. So there was number three. Good girl. And you usually see the light bulb go off in. Good girl, good girl. That's a good girl. Okay. Now at that point, she's so into the game, she didn't want to leave me. I'm going to do it one more time just for good measure. Yes, good girl, good girl. That's a good girl. Now for those of you who do show or something formal, this isn't going to get a real tight front. Where the dog sits here, brings their head all the way up. Good girl, but you can shape that. And a lot of times I tell people to, good girl, to do that by sit, starting by sitting in a chair so the dog can come really close to your crotch. That's a good girl. Okay. Um, and you can do it that way if you're doing a little formal front. Um, okay, now how to add in the recall command, which would be come, come here, here, whichever phrase or word you would like to use. I use the word come. You throw a piece of food away, get the dog away from you. Let me do that again just so I can back up. And then you say the name. Come! Yes! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! That's a good girl! That's a good girl! That's a good girl! Okay! Alright? Say their name and come once. 
Say the, say the word come. If your dog's not really, is, is sometimes are reluctant to do so because they've heard this word and it's kind of been poisoned, either change the cue and don't use the word come, or start saying good dog, good dog, girl, boy, whichever, as soon as they turn towards you, and then say the word come. So, good girl. So I'm attaching the actual word to the behavior when they're coming. Good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. I'm going to give her a distraction. You want your chicken? That's a good girl. You got your chicken? Okay, I want her to run full speed, so let's see if I can get her, get her silly. There we go. Pinky! Go! That went full speed. Yes! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl! That's a good girl! That's a good girl. Okay. Get your chicken. Get your chicken. Get your chicken. I'm going to see if I can get her run in her silly circle. Go oh, get it. Your hand up to your navel. If the dog's a little, you can lower them in and do this. Pinky! 